Hey, what's going on here? Adam the Tutor coming at you with another Laplace transform problem. This time we're doing sine, we're transforming sine omega t. So here our f of t is equal to sine of omega t. Now, normally the way to do this is to just plug in sine of omega t, or sine at, I guess is usually the one that they use, and to do integration by parts. But, you know, I, th I think that that's a lot of work, um, and it's not always straightforward. So, well, you know, I mean, I guess that's kind of a relative thing. But I prefer to do it this way, using using this identity right here, right? And this can be gotten from Euler's formula, right? That e to the i omega t is equal to cosine omega t plus i sine omega t, right? Um, and, you know, basically how you do it, how you do this is you would take the complex conjugate of this, you would take the complex conjugate of this, which is this guy, and subtract it from just the regular one, and you divide by uh, 2i, and you get that that is equal to sine omega t. Okay, so now, without further ado, let's just go ahead and do it, right? So we'll have the Laplace transform of sine omega t is equal to the integral from t is equal to 0 to t goes to infinity of, and let's just go ahead and straight in plug away, or plug in, not plug away, don't know how you would plug away, but plug in our alternate form for sine, and then we'll have, of course, e to the minus st dt. And now, you know, basically now it's just simplification and integrating an exponential. So there we have that, there's that, and then we're going to have e to the i omega minus s times t, and then minus e to the minus, and then let me put a parenthesis there, i omega plus s t, and then dt, and then we're going to have 1 over 2i, and now we just integrate. So this will be e to the i minus s t, and then that'll be over i omega minus s. And then we'll have minus e to the minus i omega plus s t, and then that will be over well, we can factor out, we already factored out this minus, so we'll have a minus, so this will actually become plus i omega plus s, right? And then we're evaluating this from t is equal to zero to t goes off to infinity. So the very first thing we're going to do is evaluate this as t approaches infinity. So how do we do that? Well, you know, again, notice here we could easily have just written e to the i omega t times e to the minus st, right? And we could have done that for both. So this i omega up, up here and up here really isn't going to do anything. Um, we're still going to have this exponential that dies off, right? Because remember s is greater than zero, right? So negative s, e to the negative st, as t approaches infinity goes to zero. So our first term is going to be zero. So then we're going to have minus 1 over 2i, and then we're going to have, we're going to plug in t is equal to zero. Well, the exponential in each case is just going to be zero, so we're going to have 1 over i omega minus s plus 1, and then i omega 
plus s, right? So at this point, what we want to do is we just want to simplify now. So we'll have a minus 2i. And so a common, we're basically we're going to get a common denominator here. So our common denominator, well, we're going to have i omega minus s times i omega plus s, right? So we're going to get a negative, well, I didn't mean to write that there. We're going to have a negative omega squared, negative omega squared. We're going to have minus s times i omega plus s times i omega, so that cancels out. And then we're going to have minus s times s, so that'll be minus s squared. So we'll have a minus that will come out front, so this will become plus, and we'll have s squared plus omega squared. And then now this guy will have i omega plus s, and this will have, and then this guy gets plus i omega minus s. So now the s's will cancel out, so we'll have 1 over 2i and this will be 2i omega s squared plus omega squared and the 2i cancels out and then basically we're left with omega s squared plus omega squared right so that's that's our answer right there right so we have another entry the Laplace transform of sine omega t is equal to omega over s squared plus omega squared, right? And if we had done integration by parts, this would have taken, well, you know, it would have taken more steps and it just would have been longer. So I prefer to do it this way. And it's, you know, nice little application of Euler's formula to make life easier for us. So that's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, just drop them in the comment section below. And yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.